Tufsson and uh, I am living in Sweden with my wife Annika. I have uh, two, two children grown up now. I have three grandchildren. I'm working as a truck driver, also founder and uh, running message in music industry. Christ in 2006 and the 28th of July. It was under Jesus Festival in Elbult. My life with, with, with Christ is a fantastic life, I must say. It's, uh, he is giving me courage. I am confident in Him in, in every situation and I know He is with me all the time. I have always been uh, looking for something, looking for, for God. I always thought that I was walking with God, I always believed in God, but eventually he was uh, revealing his son Christ Jesus for me. I understood that I had to receive him to continue my walking with God. I'm a member of his family now. standing there and the suddenly it became so strong so I was falling down on my knees and suddenly in the spirit I was lifted up about the country so I could see into hundreds of living rooms at the same time and I also felt in my heart I felt the feelings that Jesus had for the people gathered in the living rooms and he said to me this is my church this is my people and I want you, I want to send you to them and to minister and to encourage and to lift them. So that was the start, starting point of, of the vision. I didn't know at that point what, how to do it or anything but, and, and how this is still going on, I can say. That was the birth of the vision of Message in Music because Music and the worship and the word together is something that God is working with to make it short. We have in our hearts people gather in the living rooms, the home churches, plant and start and encourage the home churches, which I believe is the foundation of what Christ is doing today. giving a vision most of the time he's giving you a vision you have a part of that vision already for example the only thing I had was the guitar and some songs and from that point we started to worship the Lord to take time to worship the Lord be in the vision in your mind we start with what we have it was me and my wife first we started we met a couple, we started with them, we, we continued with them, so we were four people. He was a pastor, so he was preaching and I was uh, worshipping, we were worshipping. It was uh, flowing in that together and we was suddenly some more people coming. It became bigger and bigger and suddenly we had regular meetings. But at that point the name wasn't Message in Music, that came later. But God is giving dreams for a purpose. He is working through dreams, ambitions. So uh, if you are here today that have a dream, don't lock it down, keep it alive, because God is working through your dreams. Dare to dream. And I have a question, what should you do if you wasn't afraid? Because the fear is, is killing the vision. So keep on dreaming, take away the hindrance in your mind. I 
said before in the last question, it's about dare to dream and to go step by step into the vision. If you are standing still and waiting for God to do something, you will be sitting and standing still because you are the driver and God is the leader. Let's say you are sitting in a car and the car is off. You sit there and wait for God to start the car and drive for you. He, he doesn't do that. But he is in the back seat and he is going to guide you to go the right way. So you need to start the car, you need to, to steer, to grab the, the steering wheel and you have to, to go. And uh, step by step he is guiding you because he is the leader. There is two ways that the Holy Spirit is leading you, that the Holy Spirit is guiding you. He is the helper, so he is giving you a vision, and that vision, when you start to go according to that vision, he is helping you on the way, he is guiding you, he is helping you, he is the helper. The other way the Holy Spirit is moving is by taking control and lead you, but you need to be aware of that you are on the move all the time, you are thinking of it, you are dreaming it, you don't let it go, but at the same time, you don't have to, to be in some kind of anxiety that you cannot relax because at the same time you need to relax and trust God in it. But don't be afraid to move, don't be afraid to start because the starting point and the movement is the, the engine. First of all we are ministering at our home, we are inviting people to come here, we have house meetings. The base is worship, everything is built on worship, to have a fellowship with one another and with God. And there is a little teaching, and there is worship, and there is ministry. At our home and also in Denmark we are ministering there, and we are also in the middle part of Sweden, and also in Bleking, another part in the south of Sweden, so we have about four or five places that we are going to. But the vision for uh, is to, to do it all the time. The vision is not ready yet. We are on our way to the vision because the vision is in the future. But we are people that is living in the future, so we are always in the future. The vision is still those hundreds and thousands of living rooms that shall be encouraged by message music. Your goodness is running out. It's running out to me. 
about to make a big mistake but God he was there and hindered that mistake to happen small things <clears throat> for me I can say and I believe that that is a message actually small things is the biggest things for example I was unloading my truck once and I was in a terrible mood it was a hard day, hard morning. I wasn't feeling as I wasn't feeling godly at all. Quite the opposite, actually. I was complaining. But uh, when I had been uh, closing my truck and I was about to leave, there came another truck that should have my place when I was going. And suddenly, the driver there came out with a chocolate croissant to me. Do you want something for your coffee? And he couldn't know. Only God and my wife knows that the chocolate croissant is my favorite to coffee. But God, this was something fantastic. I could really see it that was God. It wasn't a big miracle at all. Like that because legs can grow out, God can do amazing things. But this croissant it was fantastic for me. <clears throat> it was a proof that God saw me and knew what I was about to have for my coffee. close the ears from words that are discouraging and open spiritual ears for encouragement also ask you Lord that you are sending the right people that can be lifted up, lifting up those people that are having a vision need people to stand beside you so I ask you God that you are sending those people send angels 
I know there is angels on the way and also the Holy Spirit be the helper I know you are the helper but also be the leader be the leader then and give a fire in the hearts so I just pray for fire fire in the name of Jesus fire in the name of Jesus Jesus Christ is the one that is uh, baptizing in in Holy Spirit and in fire those two elements that is needed for something to happen Holy Spirit and fire in the name of Jesus Amen